Adam and Eve. Previously in our story, we witnessed the creation of the universe. Out of chaos and nothingness, God made everything. He spoke light and life into existence. The glory of the skies, the galaxies, and the creatures of the earth were made by God and declared to be good. Now, we will learn more about the creation of man and woman, made in the image of God, inspired by the book of Genesis. The world was new, and its refreshing mist was covering the land. Streams and rivers flowed from the ground, giving life to all plants and living creatures. Among the quiet and new earth, God was at work. Personally and intricately, God formed a man from the dust, as a potter does with clay. Then he breathed life into him. God named him and knew him. His name was Adam. God made a dwelling place for Adam in a garden called Eden. He placed Adam there, and it was filled with every tree that is pleasant and good for food. In this garden, man's relationship with God began, and with that relationship a choice of free will. There were two trees in the garden. One was the tree of life. The other was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. God commissioned Adam, saying, You may eat of every tree of the garden, but not of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For if you do, you shall surely die. This would be Adam's choice. For God does not desire relationship without free will. Adam was with God in paradise. He dwelt in the garden that was filled with all things good. Yet there was one thing that was not good. God said, It is not good that man should be alone. So the Lord caused Adam to fall into a deep sleep. God, like a silent surgeon, took a rib from Adam's side. From this rib he formed a woman and breathed life into her. At this moment, Adam's loneliness was quieted and his soul and body was satisfied with her. Adam then sang to her and the two were married before God. To this day, this is why a man will leave his family and become united with his wife. They were naked and without shame, for there was no evil to corrupt the purity of their unity. They made love, ate the food in the garden, and cared for the earth and its animals. God was in the garden with them, and it was still good. Yet there still remained a choice to stray, a choice that would alter the course of all creation.